Welcome to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Today, I will show you how to make an infinite amount of health potions as soon as you leave Helgen at the very start of the game. First, we will want to collect as many blue mountain flowers as we can from the path to Riverwood. We'll need a total of 22. It's also worth getting the Thief Stone while we're here to increase the amount of alchemy experience we get. Once we get to Riverwood, we want to find either Sven or Feindel. Ask them about Camilla, then you can side with either one depending on who you'd like as a follower. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindel. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? I'm going to go with Feindel. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Lead the way. Now that we have a follower, we'll continue on to Whiterun. At the bottom of this path, we'll cross this bridge over here and go to Chill Furrow Farm. Over here, we'll harvest all of the wheat we can before moving on to Battleborn Farm. Now that we've raided the farms, we'll head into Whiterun. Inside Whiterun, we will go straight over to Arcadia's Cauldron. Hopefully we'll find some wheat for sale. We want a total of 16 wheat to be as efficient as we can. Luckily, we have free wheat right here. We're also going to sell any equipment we don't need to try to get about 500 gold for later. Outside of Whiterun, we will follow the main path around to the right. We'll follow until we get to here, Fort Greymore, and then we'll take a left. Continue to follow the path sticking to the right until you see the farm icon appear on your compass. Alternatively, just open your map and place a custom destination marker right about here. For reference, there is Solitude, there is Morfall, We'll mark off over here and run off caverns here. This is Golden Hills Plantation. Right outside, as you can see, there is a ghost waiting for us. Comes for you now. Slay the ghost, then investigate the body just outside. Beside the body, there is a note. Pick it up and read it, and then head on inside. When you're inside, turn left and head up the stairs here. Turn around and on the desk you'll find Ervil's journal. Pick it up and read it. This tells us about a hidden lab somewhere in the house. We'll move around Thandel, go down these steps and we'll go through here. Head down these steps and turn around and you will find a hidden button. Pushing this opens up this bookcase here. Very cool. Inside there's a body. If you walk in and turn around, there's another ghost. Now that we've taken care of the ghost, we'll head over to the alchemy lab and we will read this journal here. Now, we're going to head back up these little stairs here, and we are going to take a left. We're going to crouch down, and just over here, we'll find another journal. You pick it up and read it, and it will tell us about a well. We'll head back outside, and we are going to head southeast, just over this way. You will see over there, those trees, that, that is where we're headed. Next to this big tree is a wolf and a well. And just beside the well, there's a sword. Let's head back to the plantation and return to the small child's room. Now that we're back here, we can place the sword on this table. 
This will summon the ghosts. We will speak to Rin here. Yes? Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. So now we have the key and essentially the deed to this farm. It belongs to... Now that the farm is ours, we can get to work. Now before you even make any improvements to this house, we have a total of 38 plots of soil. We have a few down here, right in front, and a few over there just to the size. This is where we're going to plant our crops. We will plant 22 blue mountain flowers and 16 wheat. After planting all of our crops, we'll talk to Feindel and ask him to become the steward for our plantation. I'm right behind you. I'm looking to hire a steward for my plantation. Interested? I'd be honoured to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. We will also ask him to hire us some farmhands. I need you to hire some farmhands to work the farm. I'll see to it at once. Now we're going to head back inside, go upstairs and sleep for about three days straight. After sleeping, we'll head back outside. So now you'll notice our crops have grown. This is where we get really busy. We're going to harvest all of it. After harvesting all ingredients, we will have a total of 64 wheat and 66 blue mountain flour. Now that we have our ingredients, we are going to head back inside. As we hide farmhands, we will also have extra crops in this cupboard. Now, we'll head over to the alchemy table. We can combine our blue mountain flour and our wheat to create a potion of fortify health. Not only does this restore our health, but it also gives us a slight health boost for a whole 60 seconds. I'm going to craft these until I level up. As I level up, I'm going to put my perks into alchemy. You don't have to do this, but I want my potions to be as strong as possible. Repeat the process, make as many potions as you can. As well as restoring more health, stronger potions are also more valuable. So we were able to make a lot of potions. In fact, every harvest, you can make at least 64 depending on what your farmhands also harvest. This is a great way to level your alchemy skill. Get a stockpile of potions and you can even sell them to make a ton of money. And the best thing is, you can repeat this as much as you like. All you've got to do is wait for your crops to grow, harvest them, and then make more potions. This is a great way to start your Skyrim playthrough. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed and I will see you next time for another tutorial. Goodbye.